Yeah, um, uh, everything that you can imagine exists. So, if you can imagine something, somewhere it does exist. You cannot imagine something that does not exist. Mm -hmm. So, if you can imagine angels, angels must exist somewhere absolutely um, there is a degree of deception on the idea of angels too um, because most likely there are the angels uh, that um, are part of the polarity uh, and so uh, are angels that have an agenda um, they are part of the recycle uh, mechanism and uh, they are um, energy fields that in order to justify their existence they need the, their opposite um, the demons in this case so in the polarity realm uh, angels and demons are playing the same game uh, and one is the other to, to exist, so they are co-creating together in order to keep us trapped into this uh, matrix. Although you, you hear some people say that they really uh, that angels really uh, come and, and help us to to gain uh, uh, more awareness uh, of who we are. Yes, absolutely, I believe that. Um, but um, you have to. Uh, uh, have a very high level of discernment to really, really uh, see the truth, feel the truth through resonance. Because uh, undoubtedly there are uh, angels that are outside the realm of polarity and therefore uh, they are not part of the game. So they don't need you to, to be uh, anything. Uh, they just uh, hold the space and with their presence they might lift you up but they are not asking you anything they don't don't create you the idea that you are not good enough or, or you are less than um, they don't tell you that you have to do this you have to do that um, those angels are um, uh, simply uh, unconditional love uh, and light and they are just holding the space for you mm -hmm. um, and those are uh, and those we call them angels but it's still us yeah. we are still it's still it's just mm -hmm. a part of us mm -hmm. yeah. um, the other angels uh, can be tricky because they are very very um, I would say astute mm -hmm in uh, deceiving you because they are uh, basically they are a copy mm -hmm. uh, because we live in a construct uh, where the master of deceptions are uh, master on copying situations uh, and so they create the idea of love they copy they make a copy of the idea of love I'm just saying as an example and it really looks really, really feel really like love. But if you are not really tuned in with yourself, you might fall in the trick. And then uh, now you are living uh, um, a virtual uh, experience of love, which really feels real, but is not. 
is deceiving you. So uh, uh, you, and that's one of the reasons why we're here, you have to become, we have to become a master in discerning what is real from what is not. And these angels, uh, those angels that are part of that category, they are really, really master and they're our friend, they're helping us because by being so uh, deceiving in a subtle way, they are helping us to um, increase the level of a discernment uh, so that uh, you get to the point that uh, you can come this huge, incredible, beautiful angel with his big wings that he really feels really incredible and you look at him and you say, hi, what can I do for you? You know, you don't immediately fall to his feet and, uh, and feel small and uh, and follow whatever he says because uh, he came and uh, he blessed me and uh, you know you don't fall into this, that trap where uh, again there is this idea this externalization of something that is better than you that uh, is your savior mm -hmm. because that's one of the of the of the trick and the system uh, if you notice always sponsor the idea of a savior right yeah. uh, so we are constantly looking outside for somebody to save us all the movies in Hollywood most of the movies in Hollywood are filled with the uh, heroes who save us mm -hmm. right yeah. and uh, um, all the religions are well maybe not all but most of them are sponsoring the idea of a savior who will come to save us mm -hmm. or masters where you will buy, bow for right Yes, and then there are gurus and there are um, politicians that are going to save us. Uh, they are going to. Uh, there are even celebrities that are going to save us somehow. Or uh, now the the big uh, trendy is the extraterrestrial are going to save us. Mm -hmm. They're going to come here and save us. Mm -hmm. um, that it's uh, an illusion, uh, uh, and we if we agree, we validate that illusion. Uh, then we keep the game going. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it might be uh, some of these savior that come to help us, but uh, if uh, if is uh, is genuinely want to help you, it will uh, not create a situation of depend dependency but it will enhance your sense of self-sovereignty. It will enhance your self of independence and self-empowerment. And so I go back to the idea, if I want to help you, I have two choices. You are hungry, you have no food, I can either give you fish, fishes to feed yourself, or I can teach you to fish. Mm -hmm. Now, if I genuinely want to help you and I want to empower you, I teach you how to fish because once you know how to fish, you are self-dependent, you don't need me. But if I give you fish, then you will have to always to come to me. And the moment I decide that I want you for something from you, all I have to do is I don't give you fish unless you don't do this and you don't do that. And now you're in a trap. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah. you probably uh, will have to, we will have to uh, in the, at the time where the Savior will come, we will have to figure out what kind of gift this uh, Savior are giving us. Are they giving us a gift that uh, create dependency? Yes, it will liberate us from uh, a lot of things, but all of a sudden it will create dependency. Mm -hmm. Or it will empower us by giving us something that uh, then uh, gain our sense of sovereignty and we will be independent, we will be free. Uh, I suspect that the freedom, the real freedom, we have to find ourselves. Yeah. So uh, it can be valuable that this uh, Savior come and uh, help me out uh, and uh, increase my level of uh, uh, um, independency by eliminating some scarcity, eliminating uh, um, with technology, for example, they, there will be a lot of freedom. Uh, however, and it can be beneficial that I use this technology, however, I have to maintain 
uh, a very strong uh, connection with myself and really discipline myself not to get completely lost into that technology, otherwise they will capture you. Yeah. It's like, um, um, I'm noticing myself, uh, this idea of the navigator, mm -hmm. which is wonderful technology, because now uh, we are in a very busy and very difficult to navigate, uh, to drive through city, uh, before we would have to figure out things how to get from A to B. Now we just put the punch the address and the machine will tell us where to go. And that's all well and good and it's wonderful. And I use it myself. However, I am aware that at the moment where the navigator will not work, I will be completely lost. Because I haven't developed the ability to navigate myself, so now I'm dependent to the navigator, right? Yeah. So now the company and the people that are behind this technology have the power to do whatever they want with me because they can change uh, direction, they can take off, they turn it off, or the, and, and then now I'm, I'm in the dark. Yeah. So in a way, I would say uh, it's not necessary to go into, I don't, I'm not going to use any technology, I'm going to do everything myself because that's also an ex, an ex, maybe a little bit too extreme. So I'm going to use the navigator, but I'm going to use it in a way that they self-empower me. So why I'm using the navigator, uh, I am also try to learn my way around and figure out things so that uh, eventually I don't need the navigator anymore. So I use it as a tool uh, to support my sovereignty rather than uh, a tool to, uh, to which I will be dependent on. Yeah. So back to the angels, uh, if an angel come to me, uh, I will have to be really, really uh, tuned in with myself to figure out what is the agenda mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if there is an agenda how can I use it to my advantage and um, uh, maybe uh, I can uh, I can make the best of this angel that is trying to catch me in, uh, in a very subtle trap uh, and maybe I can use that to my advantages. Let's see what happens. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a game. Uh, and this angel is a wonderful gift because uh, with his agenda, with his hidden agenda, he is uh, pushing me to go deeper into myself and really do my work as a sovereign being rather than uh, a, a little poor me that needs help and the Savior has come to save me. Mm -hmm. So I love angels and I love demons and uh, of course uh, my favorite angels are the ones that are not caught up in the polarity mm -hmm. uh, and I realize that when that angel come to me it's just me, it's just another um, uh, much more um, uh, high conscious uh, version of me mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, come in and uh, his presence allow me to download the information that can be valuable for my journey right here. Uh, so uh, I, I suggest a great discernment when uh, an angel uh, comes to your door. Just uh, love him unconditionally of course and uh, maybe you can save him, maybe you can transform him. Maybe you can say, hey, I think um, uh, you, are, you are not aware, but you are caught up in this polarity and uh, maybe I can help you, mm. you know, uh, why not? <laughs>